My name is Usman. I've been working with BMS for the last eight years, since 2016. I'm a medical doctor by background. I was trained at Oxford, and then I completed my fellowship in pharmaceutical medicine. I was born in the northern part of the Punjab in Pakistan called Rawalpindi. I remember as a child, I was a very active and a happy child. I love sports, uh, outdoor sports. But then I was about eight or nine years old, I started noticing a lot of pustules on both of my legs. Kids naturally thought that it may be contagious because it looked horrible sometimes, you know, because I itch a lot, they used to bleed a lot as well. So I used to keep my legs covered all the time. Uh, the diagnosis was given to my parents that it's a lifelong disease and it's called psoriasis. There was no real treatment for psoriasis and it was just thought that it's a disease of a skin. Uh, now we know that it is not the disease of the skin. It's the disease of the immune system and it manifests on the skin. I never learned swimming because I was so shy of wearing a swimming costume with my friends that everybody will make fun of me or will ask questions and I won't be able to answer those questions. Certainly, psoriasis had an impact on my decision making going forward. I went to the medical school in 1994 and that was the first time I learned about psoriasis. I came to London to start looking for a job. It was a real struggle. We are standing outside Manchester Airport. There's no way to go because I didn't know anybody in UK. Finally, I got a license after one year to practice as a doctor and then I did my residency. I would always have psoriasis, even today I have psoriasis. So I would have maybe on my elbows a little bit, maybe back of my ears, a little bit of scalp. Um, scalp is quite a nuisance actually. Every now and then I have to wear dinner jackets and I would, I would be very reluctant to do that because I have a scalp psoriasis and you know I will be very aware of the situation that there may be a lot of scuff on my shoulders. I, I make sure that I just a, an hour before I take a bath with tar containing shampoos and apply a lot of gel and, and try to hide it. We are very fortunate we live here and there are a lot of nice wood walks here. So as a family we go out in the woods almost every single day. I also teach table tennis to my daughter. I listen to her poems and her stories. But you won't be a Punjabi if you, if, you don't, if you don't know cricket or if you don't play cricket. I learned a lot from cricket. Cricket is one of the rare sports that allow you to reflect uh, during the game. And that's a great learning platform that allows you to analyze your mistakes, that allows you to course correct your mistakes. So that's why I love cricket. Cricket is my passion. Psoriasis uh, also has a very strong genetic association and uh, it was always a worry whether my kids will get it or not. I, I remember about two years ago that when my wife called me once and uh, she told me that come and look at Aman's head, I saw and half of her scalp was covered with this redness and uh, flakiness and I immediately saw it and I immediately recognized it that it's a scalp psoriasis. Because she feels itchy, she tends to scratch it and it would bleed and if she come to me, my ear is bleeding. And then I started explaining her that this is what Baba has. It can be kind of annoying when it's in my ear because some people can notice, like my friend at schools can notice. But it's good to teach people that actually it's not infectious, it's not disgust or anything to be panicked about and it's actually something that should be more known to the world. 2005, we were in Pakistan. My son was seven months old. We knew there's something wrong with him. He was not holding his neck. We saw this child specialist and he looked at our son and he said to me and my wife, look, not much can be done. It's a severe cerebral palsy. The lifespan will be short and such children do not live more than four or five years. And we came out of that clinic and we had tears in our eyes and it was such a shock. And now when I reflect back, there was an opportunity for the doctor to break that news in a much better way. Because it's not always curing the disease. There's a lot more than that. Explaining the disease to the patient. Explaining what can we do rather than what can we not do. And we still have our son with us. Now he's 18 and a half year old. We can take him outdoors. We can take him uh, to the swimming pool and we can stand in the pool with him. My son was an inspiration and a motivation, not for just me, but for the whole family. I think what persuaded me to become a doctor was my personal situation. Helping patients, supporting people, working with people, making a difference in people's life. And I'm so privileged to be working with Bristol Myerscape because everything that we do at BMS revolves around patients. 
it's important that you bring patient considerations into it. You, you involve patient, you explain patient, you give them the knowledge and education, awareness and the tools to cope with it so that they, they, they deal with it with confidence. Whatever happened in my life and, and whatever I'm going through has made me who I am. And if I have to rewrite the script of my life, I will write every single day as it is.